The scapula pull is an advanced scapula stabilization exercise that many people don't know or struggle with. Since this is an advanced exercise, it's completely fine if you can't do it right away. The proper basics are required indeed, the scapular adductions in rear push-up position or on rings slash bar if you have access to them. Besides this, the scapular depression in hanging is an important prerequisite. If you can do at least 10 reps and 30 seconds hold of these, then you are ready to learn the scapula pull. This exercise is excellent for mastering the right scapular positioning of the chest to bar pull-up and more. For example, if you go high enough, it's a great preparation for the front lever as well. Of course, while doing pull-ups, you don't have to arch your back and raise your hips that much. In fact, way less range is also enough for that. But if the front lever is on your bucket list, it's worth to get the most out of this exercise. The scapula pull is a high-level demonstration of straight-up scapula control because you work purely using your back muscles and don't pull with your arms. Matter of fact, in the most advanced execution, the lats play a big role. After the right positioning of the scapulas, they do most of the work. Besides the progression, the preparation of the rotator cuff is really important. It's not a coincidence that I always emphasize that the best way to prepare your body is with using a thorough system because there are many connections and overlaps. In the scapula pull, the rotator cuff has a big role. Since you need to rotate your humerus out in the shoulder joint, you need to do external rotation as you're going up, so don't miss the rotations in your prehab routine. All right, so let's say that you can do scapular depressions in hanging with confidence and you want to learn the scapula pulls. How to start? First of all, try out the movement itself without any resistance to understand what you need to do. In the scapula pull, you need to depress, then adduct your scapulas while you're externally rotating your arms, push up your chest and arch your back. Raise your arms up and imagine that you're hanging on the bar and do this movement. Keep your elbows locked, first depress, then adduct your scapulas while rotating your arms out, push up your chest and arch your back. If you got this, you can do the same on a lower bar with leg assistance, so essentially do the exercise with way less intensity. If you can do at least 5 reps like this, you can start working without leg assistance. I always tell my students when they do scapular depressions in hanging that imagine a glass wall in front and behind them so they can't move their body forward or backward like this, they do only the perfect depression movement and no more. Now here, you need to break this rule and try to push out your chest as much as you can by paying attention to the external rotation of your arms and the adduction of your scapulas with arching your back actively. In the beginning, this movement is going to be very minimal, which is perfectly fine. As you get stronger and build the neuromuscular connection, you'll be able to adduct your scapulas more and involve your lats in the movement, just make sure that you keep your elbows locked. As you go up more and more, don't want to keep your trunk in a hollow body-like position or straight and do like a front lever. The goal here is to concentrate purely on the scapula movement and keep your body as short as possible, meaning contract your glutes and deep back muscles and arch your back, even bend your knees if you go higher. Like this, you can activate the posterior chain more and help the movement. If you have the basics I've mentioned and practice these steps, I'm sure you'll be able to do the scapula pulls even in a horizontal position and you'll benefit from it in the chest to bar pull-ups, but even only in the inverted rows, not to mention the front lever later. Give these progressions a try and let me know in the comments how it goes. And if you want to build up a shredded physique like gymnasts have from zero, following my thorough system specifically, just click the link below, sign up today and get access to all of my programs, tutorials, series and much more. I can also help you personally in the private community in the live Q&As. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did so, please like, share and write a comment what do you want to see in the next videos. If you don't want to miss the new videos, subscribe, hit notifications on and see you next week in the next video.